All righty. Good to see you guys. How did two people get in here immediately upon me starting this? That's so impressive. Good morning. Welcome to this edition of Learn This One Blues Riff. Basically, I see that you guys like these clips, so I'm willing to do a few more of these for you in a row because the event is coming up this Saturday, so I want to use a little bit of um, this time to talk about and just mention that there's this cool event coming Saturday online, the Global Blues Harmonica Summit. Go to blowyourharp.com to learn more and follow me at Facebook because I'm giving away a bunch of really nice free things. Whoa. This is a Blue Moon Harmonica from the company bluemoonharmonicas.com and tomorrow I am going to be raffling off a customized Blue Moon Harmonica to one lucky winner that's signed up for that event. He makes really beautiful harmonicas, these customized combs and cover plates. This is a pre-war Marine Band, and I got this years ago from Tom Halchek. Today, Rock and Ron's, the, one of the other sponsors for the event, donated this right here, a harmonica case from Honer that's coming out next month. Somebody just won that. But right now, let's learn that riff. Here's what it sounds like. Play around with it. I really like this riff for many reasons. First, let me teach you um, what's going on here. Uh, the first note, and I always put the tabs in the video description, so if you are looking for them on the screen here, I, don't, I just simply don't have the, the time to edit the videos to do that. I apologize. But it is in the video description, so you can just afterwards, if, the, if you're lost while I call these out, you don't have time to write them down? Go to the video description. I'm on a C harmonica and I'm playing two draw full step bend. This again is a second position um, riff. So here it goes. Two draw full step bend of two draw. Between these two knots I like to use the, the tongue to separate them and use that staccato method. Next note is three draw half step bend so let's just add that. I find that a lighter breath, a lighter touch, and a gentle nudge upward of the tongue, the front part of the tongue up, gives you a better chance at articulating just the half step in. If you're digging this and you don't mind liking this video, that helps me gain traction so I can reach more people. So give this video a like if you enjoy this content and be sure to subscribe. Okay, the fourth note is four blow. You really want me to play that low C, don't you? I'll see what I can do here. I don't know if I have one in front of me, but maybe the next video I can do that for you. Um, I'll look around here in just a moment. Uh, so two draw, full step bend, two draw, three draw, half step bend, and four blow. Now here's the hard part. The next note that comes up is four draw bent. It only goes down a half step in that hole. So you've got to practice many people, and this comes from my experience as a teacher, a lot of folks have issues just going right to this note, bent. So practice that. Take the harmonica out of your lips. Keep the position and try to get right back. Because if you don't bend it, you'll get a riff that sounds like this. And that's a little square. You want the bluesiness of that four draw bend. So we've got two draw full step bend, two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, four bend, four blow. You guys trying to play it with me? And then we go back down, three draw, half step, two draw. So I'm gonna call it out one last time. It is in the video description. It will be after I edit the video. Um, but if you wanna write this out live here, two draw, full step, bend, Two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, four bend, it's a half step, four blow, three draw half step bend, and two draw. Here's why this riff is really good to learn. 
Um, it tends to work really well f for like a, a fast paced blues, but you could fit it in anything. And it has a really sweet dividing point where you could chop the riff and create a whole new idea. Like if you started halfway through the riff at four bend, that's the last note is two draw. Okay. So instead of that half step, it's actually just two draw clean on the very last note. Um, but if you started at four bend and just play four bend, four blow, three draw, half step, and two draw, that part of the riff is great. I could have just come came at you with that riff today. Now look, th these are riffs that are designed for folks who already have some of this bending underway. If you're struggling with your bending, modify the riff, create a version that works for you. Maybe practice it without bends if you have to to get the pattern kind of in your mind, the pattern, and then really work it slowly trying to coax those bends out. And if you are playing the notes and they don't sound like mine and the bends are really flat or sharp, just keep going through the motions until you can get that exact tongue position to get the bend out that you're trying to get. So again, if we started from four bend, four blow, three draw, half step, bend, and two draw, you get that which is a nice repeating riff. Start to riff off of the first half of the riff too. Yes, I will, <laughs> Dwayne, I will absolutely, I'm gonna make a note of it right now. I'm gonna make a low C video for you. I'll play this riff and a couple other things on my low C. I just don't think I have it with me right here. I got low F, got a bunch of other stuff. It's, it's in my gear that is tucked away currently. So. If you like learning this style by ear, um, and practicing these, I have a whole series of Blues Licks lessons you can check out at harmonica123.com. On the homepage, if you go to the bottom and just search for Blues Licks, there's a whole thematic series of lessons and a package of lessons you can buy at a discount. Check those out. Um, hey, Gary. So that's what I had today is this riff. I think that um, if I were you, a strategy might be to make sure you can take these ideas and a riff means nothing unless you can put it into music. So think about that. As you work through these ideas, um, they're just that. They're only in a, a musical idea with no life in the sense that we have not really given it um, a groove or a rhythm to attach it to, right? How does that fit musically into um, various, you know... Let me try to demo something for you without a backing track. This And that just adds a layer of complication. But if you had like you know, like a, like a shuffle track, bum, ba bum, da -dum, da -dum. Might go like that. But if you put on like a funk track, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. you can learn these by ear from me and then grab, and then, take the track or the song you want to work with and try to phrase it the way I am. So that funk thing, I'm hearing a funk groove in my head and it's telling me to, to put a rest after that two drop and put those first two notes closer to, together in one beat. And you hear that part. That four blow, four bend, four blow happened really fast. And you can repeat that too. So there's a funk. Uh, if we were playing a slow blues, you know. You get the you get where I'm going with this and why it's important to have context. When you work these ideas, they're nothing more than just notes that you're you know, training in muscle memory, a sequence of notes, a statement. 
it's when you put it to music that you have to concentrate on giving it the life of the music, you know, the rhythm. Yeah, the Marine Band Deluxe is really sweet. And based on the style of playing that you have, and I know your playing sounds great, man, but based on your style of playing, uh, you might really like this Marine Band Deluxe. And Rock and Ron's Music SD.com is a great resource for buying harmonicas, you guys. I'm just going to play around, play you guys out, play a little bit with this riff here. Thanks for tuning in today. Like I, I've been saying in these videos, I'm always going to post on a Monday long term. But this week, I might be posting every day or every other day. If you want to be certain that you don't miss a video, subscribe and hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button. And you will get alerted every single time that my video pops up. You won't miss it. All right. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see some of you at the Global Blues Harmonica Summit this Saturday with Joe Felisco and Eric Noten. All the details at blowyourharp.com. Y'all enjoy.